Pro-life advocates rally in Illinois to voice their opposition to abortion legislation introduced in the state's General Assembly. Pro-life groups gathered at the Capitol in Springfield to denounce the repeal of parental notification legislation and the introduction of a bill that would allow unregulated abortion up until the moment of birth. Mary Kate Knorr, spokesperson for Illinois Right to Life, joins me now via Skype from Chicago. Mary Kate, welcome into the broadcast. What was the reaction from the Illinois legislatures to yesterday's rally? Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Um, you know, it's funny, we probably won't hear from Democratic or specifically the pro-choice legis legislators in the General Assembly on this particular topic. They would prefer just to not acknowledge us in general. Um, so, you know, they continue to go about their business, act as though there weren't 4,000 plus people at the Capitol building yesterday. They actually had to close down the building. Security had to stop people from coming in and there was a crowd outside because not everyone could get into the building. Um, and this is, I mean, a historic event. I don't think we've ever seen a pro-life event like this in the last 30 years, but we don't expect to hear from pro-choice legislators on that, so. Okay, so there are two big bills, as I said, that you're protesting. Let's start with each one of them. First, the sponsor of the bill that would repeal parental notification says his bill is pro-family, but the Catholic Conference of Illinois issued this statement, and I want to read this quote. It says, current sure. law makes it illegal for minors in Illinois to use an indoor tanning bed, buy cigarettes, alcohol, or lottery tickets, or vote in an election. Are we to believe abortion is somehow less consequential than getting a tan? So, uh, Mary-Kate, what's your reaction to parents being eliminated from such an important yeah. decision concerning yeah. their own children. So in 2017, we know that the youngest woman or girl to receive an abortion in the state of Illinois and have it actually paid for with taxpayer funds was 12 years old. Um, so I think any responsible adult can look at that situation and say something is not right here. And this is a perfect example of a scenario that we don't want this young girl to be taken into an abortion clinic by an abuser, by someone who is not a parent or, you know, or a legal guardian, um, and helping her, you know, enabling her in this choice that she will regret for the rest of her life. So I think that this is, it's a very common sense issue. And, you know, this is an issue that we've talked about in the Illinois state legislature for you know, 13 plus years. And we've had pro-choice legislators on our side with this time and again, because they know that even if you, even if you believe that maybe a woman should have a right to an abortion, there is nothing that makes sense about saying that a minor girl, that a teenage girl can go into a clinic and receive an invasive surgical procedure without even so much as the knowledge of her parents. I mean, this isn't even consent. This is just notification. As if so that parental notification nice. bill wasn't enough. Uh, let me switch to the other bill now, because you say mm -hmm. the, the, the other one, Proposed Reproductive Health Act, disregards health yeah. and safety of women. So if it's enacted, are you concerned that women will actually travel to Illinois seeking third yeah. trimester abortions? Yeah, it's not even a concern, it's a promise. Um, so a few months ago, Planned Parenthood and some of the other big uh, clinics in the abortion industry at a national level said this was their strategy moving forward. You know, with the makeup of our Supreme Court currently, uh, we believe that, and they said it, that they will leverage states like Illinois, New York, Virginia to um, fill that gap in their bottom line. So we fully anticipate, and there are already organizations in Chicago that actually ship women in and house them um, during the course of their, their procedures. And we anticipate that those numbers will only go up. Some very serious concerns there in Illinois, but it's mm -hmm. nice to hear how the pro-life movement is working to overturn those yeah. and obviously working to get more pro-lifers uh, yeah. on your side. Mary Kate Knorr, spokesperson for Illinois Right to Life Action. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it.